Hey everyone, I'm 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with a Weather Now update. We are seeing a cloudy day, but overall a dry day for most of southern New England. We're seeing again clouds around, even some areas of fog. Here's a look outside at Newport. You get the idea. It's really feeling like a fall day out there all across the area. Temperatures in the upper 50s, low 60s, and uh, the cloudy conditions continue thanks to a northeast breeze. One more check here outside. This is the capital city of Providence. Same idea here. Cloudy skies, but mainly dry conditions. And look at the radar. You can see we're seeing mainly dry conditions. Not much rain on our radar for today. And uh, going to be pretty much staying that way through tonight and especially for tomorrow morning as well. But again, no rain to show you here. Temperatures, though, on the cool side, upper 50s, low 60s, 63 in Providence, 60 down in Newport, 62 in Westerly, and 61 out on Block Island. So notice those arrows on your screen here, those little white arrows moving from the uh, right side to the left side. That's the wind direction. So it's coming out of the east off the cooler Atlantic, hence while we're seeing the clouds and the cooler temperatures and that true like damp and raw feel. That's exactly why we're feeling that on this Saturday. Wind direction and speed. Not really all that windy, 5 to 10 miles per hour out on the water, certainly a little bit more higher than that, but overall not too bad in terms of the wind. Satellite and radar, all those clouds socked in across southern New England, and uh, let's expand the view here for you. You can see our uh, setup here, high pressure to the north and east over Nova Scotia, and um, low pressure east of the Carolinas, right on the coast actually. And uh, it's really, really the battle of the two. You know, the high pressure is battling to keep us dry and clear. Notice how in parts of Maine, we can see the sunshine and clear skies. But uh, that low pressure system uh, to the south is actually inching its way towards us. And we'll continue to do so later on tonight through uh, tomorrow as well. So it's going to be missing us off the coast, but give us enough for some clouds and a spot shower or two, especially tomorrow afternoon. So the high pressure will certainly help us keep that storm at bay. Now let's time things out for you for tonight. Again, looking pretty dry. Cloudy skies, temperatures dropping back into the 50s by uh, daybreak tomorrow morning, mid 50s for places north and west of Providence. And uh, as we go into tomorrow morning, cloudy skies continue. No rain chances through the morning hours. It's not really until about lunchtime or around noontime where we can see some showers coming through. And again, they're not going to be heavy. They're going to be very scattered and light in nature, almost of the nuisance kind. And uh, it's not going to last that long. Scattered showers possible tomorrow afternoon on and off. And uh, right into the evening hours, we should be seeing cloudy skies continue right through tomorrow night into Monday morning. And that shower chance does continue through the uh, Sunday overnight period into Monday as well. But it's going to be a very low chance. And as we go into tonight, again, cloudy skies, drizzle and fog possible, temperatures dropping back into the mid-50s, especially north and west of Providence. Sunday morning, overall, same theme going forward. Clouds, maybe a sprinkle by about 11 a.m., temperatures rising through the 50s into the low 60s for tomorrow morning by lunchtime. And as we go into uh, tomorrow afternoon, that shower chance afternoon through about 3 or 4 p.m., then again, that shower chance is going to continue through the evening, but the best chance is to see it in the early afternoon hours and overall staying cloudy for the rest of the weekend and cooler as well but we do have some good news some brighter and warmer weather is on the way as we head into early next week thank you all for tuning in have a great night